Good day everyone, my bland ass is back uh, with another haul for the rebrand era. For today's haul for the rebrand era, we are going to be looking at accessories. <laughs> so I got my other handy dandy camera here. We're gonna second second point of view for the close up. But let me just get this out of the way as always. If you're not here to watch me ramble, hear me ramble, and you just wanna see the products, all the timestamps for each products are in the description. There you go. Now, let's get to serious business. During all the clothing rebrand hauls, there are like moments where it just fell off, right? And I was like, this is a mess. And I was like, isn't my chest just like... And then a lot of y'all in the comments were like, Tina girl, you need to accessorize. Maybe put on a necklace, this and that, that. Let me tell you, <laughs> I'm thinking now and I'm like, when I was buying these accessories, I should have looked at some inspo pictures, but I feel like I was just scrolling through the websites and just adding to cart whatever, whatever I liked. <laughs> you could be like, Tina, you had to buy some new accessories for the accessories haul, like can't you just show your other accessories? And let me tell you, <laughs> it's not that I have none, it's that it was really limited amount of accessories and bags. Now let me tell you again, part of the rebrand era was the fact that I literally only wear merch shirts and it was time to spice things up a bit. With my accessories collection, it was literally, m m mostly, maybe if not all, real or fake merch accessories and bags. I'll show you in a bit and y'all might be like Tina like don't you feel like a loser and it's just like I genuinely think that that's just me <laughs> like I genuinely enjoy wearing pieces of clothes or accessories or apparel that reflect the artists and the shows that I like I genuinely feel like I I like wearing those stuff right like I'm not mad about it but it's come to the point where when I'm a 40 year old lady am I just gonna be wearing a merch t-shirt for the rest of my life probably but the point of the rebrand era was not to necessarily get rid of all the merch shirt but just to bring in some basics in and maybe spice things up a bit right that's what it was for so let me show you what my accessories and bags were like back in the day and when I say back in the day I mean like high school days which was like uh, in grade 10 which was grade 10 was like five years ago so let me show you that so they're a little um, crusty dusty because I haven't touched them in a while let me show you one of my all-time favorites I wore this a lot in grade 10 here it is it is an arrow necklace that I got off of Aliexpress yeah Honestly, a banger. I love this one, but I would not wear it today because I do not. <laughs> I haven't caught up with the arrow seasons yet, but it's like, what is even the point of wearing this? Because it's like, I don't see myself as a devoted arrow fan. I just bought this when I was binge watching arrow and actually really liked it and was obsessed. But now it's like the show's over and spoiler alert, Oliver died. So I was like, what's the point? I mean, did he die? I don't know. I think he did, but I didn't finish the last season yet. Right next to that one was another, this is another Tina favorite in grade 10. My The Flash necklace. Would I wear this now? No. And let me tell you some controversial thoughts that I have. The Flash, it's just not it anymore. <laughs> like the show isn't over anymore. I swear, I'm, I need to catch up on like three or two seasons right now. But I just had to drop the show, girl, because it is just not it anymore. It is not interesting me anymore. Girl, I swear, every episode, every episode, every episode is new metahuman Barry has to fight. Barry has this problem with himself. It's either he's gonna die or someone he loves gonna die. So Barry and, and some other person in the Flash team, they have a deep conversation for three minutes. He's back in action. Repeats every goddamn episode. And I could just not, ooh, I could not watch the Flash anymore. I am so sorry. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. This is a Stranger Things necklace from AliExpress. Honestly, I stand. I love this necklace, but it's like, I feel like back in the day, if I'm gonna go out, I just put in some clothes, get my backpack, and leave. I'm not really thinking, okay, don't forget your accessory, don't forget to accessorize. So I just look away, but I 
genuinely wore these ones, like the flash and the arrow one, literally almost every day in grade 10. This one I bought like, I don't even remember when, but I would have worn it more had there not been quarantine. But now it's just like, I'll probably still wear this one because I'm still into Stranger Things, right? This one, throwback, a Justin Bieber necklace from middle school. So maybe a good seven years ago, maybe even more than that, maybe eight years. Sorry. But it's a best friend's necklace. It was one of my old friends. She bought this for me. She has one. I have no idea if she still has it. We, I mean, we, we, yeah, we went to different high schools, so we're not in touch anymore. <laughs> this was a fan favorite, a Tina Tran favorite in middle school. My Justin Bieber bracelet that I got from HMB that is now shut down in Canada. I wore this shit every day and I was like, I was like, if I was ever a one less lonely girl at a Justin Bieber concert, this is what I would wear. But I do not stand Justin Bieber anymore, so sorry to these things. And y'all, y'all would be like, Tina, what if you don't stand the people on all your merch shirts anymore? That's not sustainable. I'm like, girl, it's not my fault that Justin Bieber had to be so fucking problematic. It made me unstand. I was over it. It's not my fault the Flash became so boring. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> now, let's get into some of the hats and bags of the past, Tina. Still current Tina, though, because I do use them still. The problem with hats is that I have a big, fat fucking head. So I literally look like a clown with my hair poking out when I wear hats. And because of that... My mom steals my hats, and she wears them instead. With that said, this is my favorite hat. Oh, still doesn't fit my big ass head, but it fits enough. Here it is. It's my TNA hat. I bought matching with my friend. Seven rings. Y'all, I swear these used to fit me, man. Listen, it was quarantine. Quarantine was rough for me. There were people losing weight during quarantine, and there was people gaining weight during quarantine. And I was the gaining weight side of it. So... <laughs> It used to fit me, y'all, I swear. The Thank You Next version of that hat. It was like a hat set from H&M when Ariana had her line there. I swear I had three hats, though. That shit is not wrapping around my head at all. Anyway, it's like, what is that? Maybe it's just because I have to wear it with like a nice outfit, right? But I love it. It feels great. Anyways, now let's look at our bags. First, I will show you the staple bag. The bag that I've been using since I've got it. Just cause she's a basic ass bitch. Look how dirty it is because I keep using it. Yeah, yeah, it's just a regular pink bag. Dirty as hell because I only use this other than my backpack. I have no idea where I got it from, but I feel like H&M. Now we have this bag. Sweetener Will Tour Clear Bag. Literally just for concerts. Right? Because what am I going to do with this? My clear thank you next Ariana bag. I love this bag. Let me tell you. Back in the days, back in high school, I would put my DS in here and just go on the bus. Just me, my DS, and my phone. Finish. Unfortunately, my Switch does not fit in here. What can we do? But I love this bag. From H&M as well. It's not selling anymore, but I'm just telling you it's from H&M. We have a drawstring Ariana bag which my sister got for me for my birthday, maybe three years ago, two years ago. Like I wear it on like, it like honestly depends. You switch things up. Like maybe you're going to the theme park. Okay, sure, why not? Like maybe you're just going to a park. Okay, wear that. Here we have BTS bag, an idol bag. Now you can probably find this on AliExpress. You can probably design it yourself, <laughs> but I got it from Vietnam. I told my dad, buy me some BTS merch. And my dad told my cousins, and they got this alongside a bunch of other fake BTS merch. <laughs> and you're probably like, Tina, aren't you embarrassed? And I'm telling you again, girl, I just have no shame <laughs> in expressing the things I love. And you might be like, Tina, you can express the things you love in a fashionable way. In a fashionable way. Not like this. Girl, okay, yeah, sometimes I am embarrassed. <laughs> but I have worn this once with no shame at all on my back on the bus but i'm just thinking now what in what situation will we wear this again right like the quality is so terrible look at this but anyways i don't mind it now that that is over let's move on to the new stuff that i got during the rebrand era and let me tell you this is months back girl months back that i got this stuff i got most if not all of this stuff from the first time i posted the shein haul to now 
because it was this time my rebrand era and I was like oh my god it's time to buy all these accessories um, and I got them on various websites like Shein and AliExpress and YesStyle um, use my code Tina and on YesStyle but let me show you all of them now and it just took a while because I was like buying accessories on AliExpress and you know AliExpress comes in like three two three months so I was like waiting for them to come to like have them all to show you now um but let me just show you now let me show you all like the big good stuff that I actually really love and tried out already a lot of these things I didn't try out yet obviously because I haven't been going out daily and having the chance to accessorize and style myself but anyways and these are the stuff that I'm used to already and I love love okay here we have a new backpack for my jump cut core. My old backpack was like pink, camouflage. Honestly, I stand her, I did, especially because she has so many pockets and it was like huge and like great and dividing stuff in my bag. But it was time to let her go. It was pink camouflage, girl, like what am I gonna do with her? So now we just got a basic black bag, okay? A basic black bag. And as you can see, instead of getting poor quality printed on the whole bag, like that one, Instead, we have these clear pockets, and you can put something like a BTS photo in there. Wow. Something that I also did was in this clear pocket, I put like maybe a BTS, uh, BT21 thing in there. Look how cute. Isn't that cute? I think that's cute. I don't know. I still want to do more, and it's like you can change out the photos, change out whatever, right? But I still want to do more, like maybe add some keychains, you know? But because we're in quarantine, and because I'm still in remote school, I just did not do anything. That bag I found on YesStyle, use rewards code Tina Chan, but I bought it on AliExpress because it was cheaper there. <laughs> Sorry to YesStyle girl, but you look fancy. Here we have Suwuzu. So sorry. The Microcosmos. Microcosmos Muster BTS 2021 Muster bag thing that they were selling on Weverse, okay? Here it is. Isn't it gorgeous? Like the quality is great and everything. Isn't it beautiful and it came with this pin? And you're like, Tina, you bought that on Weverse? No, girl. I bought an AliExpress. Is it a dupe? I literally have no idea. Cause let me tell you, I buy a lot of like BTS dupes on AliExpress. Cause they're like, they're just like photo cards, whatever, pictures, merch. They're, they're musicians, girl. I buy official albums, okay? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but it's like, I'm not every time they release a line of photo cards or release a line of, or even keychains or something like that. I'm not about to pay $30 shipping on Weavers for every single fucking order and then pay $30 taxes or duties because DHL is always charging my ass. God fucking damn it. The day Weavers gets rid of that $30 shipping for some something worth $1 is the day I thrive, girl. But for now, because it's not here, we got an AliExpress. And honestly, I love it. Like, sometimes I feel like it's actually official. Like, I feel like sometimes AliExpress is like bulk buying it and reselling it. But isn't this like a little too good quality to be a dupe? Anyways. A next bag that I love is my holy core bag and if you watch all my rebrand hauls you would have seen her before it may be like two of my other try on hauls i don't remember which ones here it is it's just a green fanny pack is that a fanny pack is a pocket in here, here. <gasps> that's where my headphones are is a pocket in here <gasps> oh my gosh i have so much cash in here this is the problem with having too many bags because you don't know where, what's in what there's a pocket in here <gasps> it's a tween Oh my gosh, I was looking for that bitch. And I love it, my Hobie core bag. I was gonna put some pins here. I don't have them yet. Moving on, it is just a simple fanny pack. Fanny pack was trending years ago and I did not look into it. But now I am a fanny pack girl after standing BTS, I guess. Silly, just regular fanny pack. This bag I got from YesStyle. No, I got from Shein. But the last bag I got from YesStyle used Rewards Code Tina Chan. This is the last bag. I'm realizing now I'm showing you guys what I like the most and what I use the most, and it's mainly just bags. Because bags are just so handy, right? What are you gonna do with a necklace? Anyways, it's this thing. This tote, is this a tote bag? I have no idea. And it's like from YesStyle, used reward Code Tina Chan. Because I couldn't find this on AliExpress, so I bought it on YesStyle. But yeah, it has a big pocket, obviously. It has a big pocket. 
It has the straps. <gasps> Ten dollars in here. I'm fighting. I'm fighting cash everywhere, bro. Down. Who's putting this money in my bag? Anyways, there's a mini pocket in here as well. Love. And I literally just trashed the fact that I don't like the holding bags. <laughs> and this one here, there's a pocket in here. Love. I love a bag with a lot of pockets. There's a pocket here. Love. But I feel like manufacturing issue, this is just forever bent. Like, how can I fix this? I can't. It's forever like that. And then this is here too, also bent. There's supposed to be like a keychain animal, stuffed animal here. And your arms are here, your legs are here. I got this because I wanted to put my bear in there. But then when I got it, she could not fit her arms and legs through here. So I was like, god damn it. What am I going to do with this empty ass hole? That's all. Oh, there's like water pockets too. Honestly, I love this. Now, let's get into the fun stuff that I was actually really excited to get because I was in my beginning of my rebrand era phase where I was like, okay, let's do, let's try this, let's try this, let's try this. You're going to be like, Tina, you little crazy girl. Listen, y'all. Here we have, I don't even know what to call this, like an accessory box. It was a rebrand era in me. I really thought I was going to be a whole it girl getting all these accessories. I'm like, girl, I need an accessories box now. But let me show you my accessories box. There she is. Open her. Wow. Open this button here. Wow. Wow. Look, you can put some stuff in here. I don't know what yet. You can put some stuff in here as well. I don't know what. Put some stuff in here. Wow. This is a mirror. There's a bunch of stuff here. There's this thing, which is a portable like accessories box. I was like, oh my god, when I'm gonna go travel and do my cute girl shit, I'm gonna bring this with me. For what? Like just wear the accessories on you already, girl. What do you need this for? <laughs> Anyways, I got this. My mom was like, girl, you're always wasting your money. And I'm like, that's so fucking true, man. But I was so excited during that time and I'm looking at it right now and I'm like, girl, what are you gonna do with this? I'm such a dumb bitch. Anyways. Anyways. Let's get on to all the mini stuff now, right? Let's just breeze through the most basic stuff right now that I'm already used to because I've been using them since I've got them. It's been a while since I got them and I've been waiting to film this video. This here, what's there to say? Nothing big, nothing new. Scrunchies. Scrunchies. Before I was using hair ties, it was really tight on my head. So I'm like, let me just get into the scrunchie, the scrunchie trends and see what that's all about. And honestly, it slams, I love to see it. This is from Shein. These are like tiny hair ties, but it's just for like tiny stuff, you know? And I'll show you, I'll use these when we do our um, hair styling haul or hair styling try on. What, what's even the word? Trying hairstyles, basically. In that video, well, you'll see this. I'll show you how I use these as of now. Next, something that I've been using a lot. It's just these clip things. These are from Shein. But they didn't have like white, white ones. So I bought these on Amazon, which was hella expensive. And the Shein ones were cheap. And I feel like the Shein ones are better quality than the Amazon one. Yo, Amazon is a fucking scam, man. Like depending on what you're buying on Amazon, you could literally find a dollar store for cheaper, the same quality. And Amazon is so goddamn expensive. But it's like, we live in a world of Jeff Bezos right now. So you've seen these clips before. I showed them in my Zafu haul. Maybe I'll enter the picture here. But yeah, that's basically what I did, especially because I like DIY cut my bangs on a stream one time and I was not having it anymore. So I literally just clipped them every time and used a color that matched my outfit. Headbands. I love headbands, but I would never wear them like a headband would be worn. Let me tell you, I f did I have a headband fees in middle school? This is a headband. I didn't get this during my rebrand era. I got it during my Stunning Standing BTS era. It's an RJ headband from AliExpress. He's a little dirty right now. He's been on the ground a few times. It's fake, so. But love you, RJ. Love you, RJ. So during the rebrand era, I was like, let's get a bunch of headbands because those are hella cute. And it's on this headband stand thing from AliExpress. And it's a little tilted. It's literally tilted. Anyways, I got a bunch of headbands because I think they look cute to style with. And it's different from hats, right? Because hats go around and my head's so fucking big. But at least these will stretch out a bit, right? Um, but here's the thing. Unless I'm at home, I would never wear the headband like a headband should be worn. Um, which is like under the hair to get your hair out of the way, right? 
people wear headbands like this. But I would never, because look at my hairline. Look at my hairline. It's straight. And I've been bullied for this by my family for years. And I've been bullying myself for this for years. But obviously I don't care what my family thinks. So I stay doing this at home. And we just laugh about it, right? Like, yeah, it's funny. But one time I tied my hair up like this in a live stream and somebody commented something like, God did her dirty by giving her that hairline. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm never doing this fucking shit again. Fuck you. But if it's like a super hot day and my hair is like in my in my way, I'm still gonna do it, bruh. Remember, for my rebrand era, if I'm like styling myself to look more cute and using it for pictures, I would never do this in my life. Anyways, so let me show you. I think this is from AliExpress. What kind of vibes is it giving you? I don't know. It's kind of giving me maid vibes. Like, isn't this what maids wear on their head? Like, the stereotyped maids? Anyways, I'm gonna get a hate crimes on the street. This is a handmade, as it says. I think this is from AliExpress. It was cute, but it's called a turban. It's called a turban headband. But obviously I am not a part of any culture that wears turbans. So I'm like, is this allowed? <laughs> um, I look fucking weird right now though. Like I don't, so I don't know. Y'all let me know, did that look good? And should I even be wearing that? Cause it's like a turban turned into an aesthetic and I am not of a culture wearing a turban. Anyways, now that I said that, here's literally another turban headband. Cause look, she look cute, is she not? I swear I've worn this already and I thought I looked so cute. <laughs> but why do I just feel like, moving on. <laughs> is some basic headbands. I think these are from Shein. Yeah, it's just different colors, basically. And it's like my Clueless era. Maybe it's my hair. Y'all, I swear. No, no, no. I was wearing them before and I felt like a baddie. Good enough. Um, there's also these ones, which is like a metal, metal one. And it's like, how would this ever be comfortable in my head? See? Like, I feel like I'm in my Ariana God is a woman era, you know what I mean, when I wear this. Ow! And then there's this. Here it is. Like, I think it's cute. Like, I genuinely feel, every time I wear headbands, I feel like I'm in one of those, like, white girl teen movies, like Clueless and Mean Girls, you know what I mean? That's how I feel. That's that, let's move on to what I have in the jewelry box so far. First of all, we have this. Glasses. I really wanted to start my glasses era and it looks so cute on the girls. But we have to remember that I have a fat ass head. So it does not look cute on me, girl. Look at me. Look at me. Who am I? I got this on AliExpress and the girls on AliExpress, they were giving chic. And I look like a hipster. <laughs> And it's like no offense to hipsters, but that's not the look I was trying to emulate. You know? Anyway, look at me! I look like I'm in a spy movie! Anyways, here's the big, the big guns that I thought were really going to be it for me. But you gotta remember that a plus size girl is a plus size girl all around. And my fingers are two parts in fact. Here they are. These are rings from AliExpress. And I know you'll be like, Tina, you're gonna get green fingers, you're gonna get green fingers. I mean like, yeah, it fits up here, but obviously it should be down here. And this is just like me saying that my fingers are too fat for this. Here's even more, like this gets even smaller. Like, does this not look even smaller? So I'm gonna give this all to my sister. She's a skinny legend. If you have any recommendations of ring sets that are cheap, or just rings that are cheap, that are not $50 from Pandora, that are measurable. Like it lets you measure your finger sizes and you can get them. Cause it was like, I even saw TikTok. She was like, they rather buy cheap ring sets instead of buying a bunch of expensive ones, you know? But that comes with a cost 
that they are usually just one size and my fingers do not fit in that one size and that's why I don't shop at Brandy Melville. What else is in the accessory box so far? Just some hair clips, but I hate it because it's like open and slide in, you know? And it always pulls my hair out, but I really want it to be like Jenny. It was so hard finding those two. Like, you know those really long ones that are like pearly? I want those, like Jenny has, but I could not find. Let's move on to the fun stuff, which was like a bunch of $1 necklaces. <laughs> Still, Honestly, I'm really excited about this, I'm not gonna lie. I was so excited buying these. And you're probably like, Tina, you're contributing to overconsumption. I'm so sorry, I swear. This is the last of it, I swear. I swear. But let me just show you, please. It's my reband era. I'll show you them one by one. Here is, <gasps> don't tell me this is a necklace. I'm seeing it now and I'm having a feeling that it will not fit my fat ass neck. What the hell? Don't tell me this is a necklace. This is a necklace? And this is going straight to my sister. Like a butterfly, like a butterfly. It's a set. This is a necklace, I refuse to believe it. Whose neck is this fitting, girl? Because I swear in the picture, it was not a choker necklace. Is this not small as hell? This is a $10 bill compared to it. Literally just a few bigger than a $10 bill. Whose neck is this fitting, girl? Because it's not mine. Oh, it fits, I guess. It's a choker for me. <laughs> but I guess it'll be a regular necklace for other people. My neck fat weight loss era. So this goes in the pile of save it in case I lose weight or give it to my sister. This will fit me eventually, I swear. It was because of quarantine, I gained so much weight. Like this was not here before, I swear. I swear girl, this was not here before quarantine. So quarantine needs to hurry the fuck up. I mean, not like quarantine, quarantine, but like remote school, right? Cause the only reason why I was going outside was because I was going to school and then doing whatever. But now I'm doing school at home, so I stay home, you know? Like there's no excuse for me to leave. Anyways, now we have like a butterfly, butterfly. This is not fitting my wrist, girl. What's happening to it? Oh, oh yes, I remember. It's like a style, stylish kind of thing, you know? Really stylish. Like, I imagine myself, like I could be on a concept photo right now, right? Oh, like imagine me on an album and I'm like, like this. But like pretend I'm skinny because you'll never see a girl like me on a K-pop album. <laughs> it looks weird, man. It looks weird. Let's move on to the next one. Let's go back. Ooh, I'm excited for this. It's a teddy bear necklace. I love a teddy bear. I love this kind of stuff, you know? It makes me feel like when I'm playing like a, a game, a video game, and you can have like a pet follow you around the video game. That's how I feel by having this necklace. Tiny bear. Isn't that cute? I love it. Wow, look at my bear. Look at my bear. I should have worn a different shirt because I'm wearing this and I feel like, sorry, I should have worn a different shirt. Do we have another bracelet? Butterfly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It fucking exactly like a butterfly. This ear, ear thing. I swear to you, I was buying this and I'm like, I'm a whole K-pop idol. <laughs> but I got this because my ears are not pierced. I do not have pierced ears. And you're like, Tina, just pierce your ears. And like, I'm like, no, girl. I should have pierced them when I'm younger. Um, but honestly, I don't really care if they're pierced or not pierced. But I would not pierce them now because I really do not want to deal with all the care that goes into piercing your ears, right? Like, I don't want to do the whole infections thing. I don't want to do the whole cleaning thing. So I don't know if you're ears. But anyways, it goes around your ear like this, like so. Can you even see it? It's like a subtle thing, right? Cause it doesn't have to be out there, but it's like undercover K-pop idol. I feel cool in it. You don't even see it though. I feel like I'm in Espa. I literally never seen Espa wear this, but I feel like I'm in Espa. It is a moon and star necklace and I'm like, Ooh, they're buddies. You found the moon, me found the star. That's what it was emulating to me. Next we have our Hobie Core. Here it is. Hobie Core, what's more to say? Like they're looking long right now, but I just know that this one off in my neck. Here we have another bear necklace. It's a different bear. So now I have bear buddies, friends. Oh, you know what? Now I feel like, just like with all these chains and with this on my hand and how I was talking about concept photos like this, 
I'm starting to feel like those boys that do thirst traps on TikTok. God damn it. Let me take this off. I don't feel good. Anyways, now I have this bracelet set. Ooh, like a butterfly. Here it is. This is what it will look like. A set. You're probably like, Tina, how many goddamn things do you need? Girl, I'm sorry. Here's a moon necklace. Ooh. I feel like a Tumblr girl. I feel like this is just showing me late with the trends. Like, I didn't have basics, and now I'm doing Tumblr girl accessories, as well as Asian thirst trap boys. Another earring cuffs thing. I feel like this is gonna really hurt my ear. I widened that bitch. Is this on the bottom or on the top? I have no idea, but let's try it. Ow! Okay, okay. Am I okay? Ow! Like, I feel pain. Ow! Wait, is it, does it hurt? I have no idea. Ow, ow, ow! Does this not hurt? Oh, then I put it on right, but I'm in pain right now, so it doesn't matter. Let's speed run this fucking shit, because I'm tired of this now. Airplane! I'm That's all I gotta say. Because I swear to God, sometimes I just buy things and be like, pop culture reference. Again, here we have some more earring cuffs. I'm starting to realize that maybe earring cuffs are just not for me. Because that shit fucking hurt, bruh. Butterfly. Now, I was excited for this, but now that I felt that pain, which wasn't even that big of a deal. It's like, why should I go back? It's like, how can I clamp it on my ear without the pain then, you know? Does it look good? Does it look good? I feel good. <laughs> what looks like another buff butterfly necklace. Star and a butterfly. Star, butterfly. Another butterfly necklace. What a fucking surprise. Next. Can you guess what it is? Correct. A butterfly necklace. Oh, I fucking lied. You are wrong. It's a necklace with the word love in it. Boy with love. I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, is it not my Map of the Soul Persona era at this point? Honestly, I love this one. This one's cute. Or at least I think it's cute. I would wear this with my pink jacket that I bought in substitute of the $200 BTS jacket, boy with love jacket. More ear cuffs. I'm not even gonna take this out at this point. I'm excited for the ear cuffs though. <gasps> my second camera died, but we only have like four things left. So I was like, let's just get over it. A heart and a tea for I love Tina. For Tina, self love. You couldn't even see the tea, so maybe it's not that much love. But there it is, Heart and Tina. Some people wear their significant other's names on their necklace. I wear my own. Ooh, here's another one, an ear cuff. This one looks interesting, doesn't it? See? Once I figure out how to pry this open, it will be like this. And I will feel badass. And here is the last of the Shein accessories. Which is, I think a bracelet set. Yeah, it's a bracelet set. It's like the other one. I'm not even going to be bothered to open it and show you. But here it is. Can you even see? I'm just so over it right now. I was cleaning up and I forgot I did not show my bucket hats. All of which do not fit my head. Just a regular beige one. Does not fit my head as you can see. Here we have this green one. For my Hobie car. I think this is from AliExpress. My gym and core. It's not even gym and core, but weaving. But... It goes inside out. And it's yellow with him weaving. Would have been so cute if it fit my head. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm sorry if this was a trash video, but honestly, it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know, this video just felt like kind of like a like a throwaway video, like just a video just to post. Because I feel like I was genuinely excited to like film this, but now it just feels trash. Like, I wanted to film this and show you, but it just feels like a trash video. But at the same time, it's just like, I'm so busy right now, man. Anyways, that's that. Hopefully, Miss Corona will be over soon. And that's why I fucking thrive, man. Not me getting all depressing about this. It's only because of midterm seasons right now. I have a bunch of assignments. But I swear, y'all, I swear. Because this is something I want to film and I want to show you and post. But at the same time, this is not who I want to be. <laughs> On YouTube. <laughs> but I guess, after the rebrand era... I don't know, man. Because it's like I'm figuring out my life right now. And not this translating into my YouTube videos. You know what? You didn't need to know any of this. <laughs> I'm still going to post it. Anyways, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. So sorry that this might not have been a fun video. But, again, if you have any recommendations, feel free to comment them. Um, I'll read them. Not all. 
but I'll try to. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys later. Use my code Tina Try if you ever shop on Yesdown. And goodbye. This is more than a crash, more than a like, like, more than a laugh. Baby, I'm a making man, and I ain't giving up. This is more than a crash, more than a like, like, more than a laugh. Baby, I'm a making man, and I ain't giving up. Don't run away, don't run away from the truth. Cause I'm not giving up on you. Don't run away, don't run away from the truth. Cause I'm not giving up on you.